Hey, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. This is vlog number eight. That is eight, right? Yeah, eight. <laughs> it's okay. I, it's, I've been busy. Um, okay, so this vlog, bunch of makes, um, a little bit of meal opening, and then I went to North Carolina for the bag making workshop at the Gardner Sewing Room. I taught the Mav Pack. Um, that's a pattern by Lindsay and Mead. Um, we modified the straps for both classes, but the first day we did like the structure by the pattern and the second day we did binding. So it was fun to do both and teach both. Um, the sewing challenge for this two week period is to modify a pattern. Um, I was going to say I taught a modified class, but I actually made a clear guardian and I think that definitely counts. So I made a clear clematis too, but I'm going to use the clear guardian. It, it's, I didn't make it how the pattern told you to. Um, okay. So the bag making workshop was awesome. It was so much fun. Sandra is so nice. She's funny. She's a trip. Um, we had a blast. We didn't have a ton of people come, but I don't know if it was like the weekend or something like a bad weekend. I don't know, but it was fun. I enjoyed everyone that came. Uh, everyone was so nice. They all asked me to come back. Sandra told me to bring Thea next time. <laughs> uh, so it was fun. Um, my drive both ways kind of sucked. It was raining really bad. So it is what it is. Um, I had some lives in the last two weeks. Um, I did a sublimation live. We worked on like tumblers and stuff. Um, I did a live where I made a Dina purse, which is a cat purse, and I'll show it off later in this. Um, I got some amazing vinyl in. I also got some jelly vinyl in, and I already listed it. I already sold out. I'm going to order more. Um, I'm going to try to get at least 10 colors next time. Uh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> so sorry. Um, but the plan is to keep carrying it. I really hope I can. Um... A lot of places sell it now, so when I first got the idea, I'm like, not many people sell it, so, but it's okay. Um, I'm hoping to order next week, and then it would be, like, four weeks, maybe, three to four weeks before it comes in, so, yeah. Anyways, enjoy my makes. Um, I'll put some pictures at the end, uh, from the bag making workshop. Um, enjoy. Okay, so the first bit of mail for vlog number eight. Oh, George says hi. It's Georgie. There's Donut. Okay, anyways. So, I have the opportunity to strike for So Dulce. Um, applied a couple times in the past and never got in, but she posts um, that she was looking for people to sew some clear TPU vinyl. Um, so, I got, a, I got in and I got a print, but then I also asked her if I could add some of this clear star um tpu and she added it it's so cute i thought it was just gonna be like silver stars but they're like pastel colors and i do think it'll go well oh here's donut say hi <laughs> okay um i think it'll go well with the strike i got i'm so excited because she asked which print I wanted to sew. Like, can I do Sailor Man? And no one else had picked it or something. I don't know. I got I get to do Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. I think you've probably noticed that. But check this print out. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, all the characters. Yeah, Luna and Artemis. Tuxedo Mask is in there. This is cute. Um, I gotta decide what I'm making, like, ASAP with this. Um, I've been, like, I'm gonna make a guardian, a clear guardian for Stitch and Kill My Vibe. And I'm like, why can't I just make two? I, I can't do that, so. Sandworms that I showed in the last vlog are going to be a clear guardian. And then I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing with Sailor Moon. It's so good. I'm so excited. I can't wait to share it. Okay. I have some more makes. And then I got something awesome in the mail. Oh, I actually got something else in the mail, too. Hang on. 
Um, so when I shared my pre-order from Backstitch, maybe like a vlog or two ago, um, the Mardi Gras vinyl, if anyone remembers that, um, thought it looked really pretty, then I opened it to use it, and past, like, the very start of it, um, it was like the coating didn't adhere to the glitter or something, and then there was just, as my friend Lauren calls it, dead glitter space, pretty much on the entire thing. So... I can see that this isn't like perfect, but it looks so much better. So, um, the last roll, it just, it looked like kind of like milky white on like most of it. Um, but they were really nice. Uh, I think you're supposed to message them within like a week with any order issues. And I don't know if maybe it's just the vinyl side now because they have fabric sides too. Um, I haven't. I haven't had to contact them about fabric in a long time, but, uh, admittedly I haven't ordered fabric in a long time from them. Uh, but anyways, I messaged her and I said, I'm sorry, I know I got this a while ago, but I just unrolled it and the vinyl's like ruined. Um, so she sent me another roll, which I really appreciate. Um, okay, so I've been working on finishing March Customs. Here is a super cute peekaboo that I finished. Here is... Another super pretty peekaboo. Um, this vinyl and this holographic vinyl are both from Where We Know. And this um, super cute flower pool. This combination is to die for. Um, so my friend Kira's friend Vanessa ordered a peekaboo, a purse pal, and a Tuesday tote. I'm waiting on some uh, webbing to come to finish her Tuesday tote. Um, okay, also this vinyl is from Where We Know. This fabric is from Stitch Don't Kill My Vibe, and it is a hex reject print. Okay. And then, um, the clear TPU vinyl with the Sailor Moon print from So Dulce. I sewed them up, that up. I don't know. Anyways, I made three of my favorite, like, clear vinyl makes, and I time-lapse recorded the cutting and the sewing, and then I'm gonna have, like, just a little video, um, time lapse. I think I'm gonna do a voiceover just talking about it. I don't know if that'll go up before this video or not. It probably will. Um, anyways, so that was a peekaboo. This is just a little zipper pouch that Lauren Marmino did a video on. And then this is a clear midnight kiss. But the print is so cute. Um, I might make, like, one more thing. I have some leftovers, but, um, so sold, I'll say this round is open April 13th through the 28th, so by the time this vlog goes live, this vinyl's still available as a pre-order. Okay, um, I am almost done with the purse pals from my pre-orders. I just have to edge coat, so... This is what this one will look like. I have to edge coat. So when I do the fabric hack, um, I need to sew this together. So like this one I already sewed together. Um, but when there's a fabric side and a vinyl side, you have to edge coat the vinyl side first. So I have started um, edge, like top stitching both pieces. I guess I should show you one that I've actually done it with. So both of these are top stitched and then when i go to after this is edge coated i will put them together and also just inside that line and then they'll have like a double um top stitch which i have a, one personally that is like that and i like it so this one is ursula with black glitter uh, this one's from my friend natalie uh and that is a backstitch print. Um, and that glitter vinyl is from My Punk Broidery. It's just their basic uh, black glitter vinyl. This one is Formino Grape Fizzy glitter vinyl. And then I sublimated a hex reject print for this one. 
Um, okay, here's another one that I did too. Uh, so this is, I can't remember the name of this one. It's a Mormino vinyl. And then this is a Hex Eject print that I sublimated. So there's that one. And then here is this one that matches that peekaboo. I love this so much. So I have a Catalina that I mean that I've shown off before. And I'm going to make a matching purse pal so I can carry it with it. I think that's why I haven't used it yet. But anyways, I love this. And then I have these two. I love these. Um, so this is teal tinsel and this is Thanos. So all of this vinyl is from Mormino. I think the zipper tape probably is too. And then um, all of the zipper pulls I used on these are all Mormino. So got to edge coat these and then I'll show them off after they're edge coated. Okay. I've been stalking the UPS truck for hours. My new laptop came. I am so excited because I have been struggling really bad. Um, I built my desktop six years ago. So when I built it, the parts were okay. But they weren't, like, amazing by any means. Um... So, some stuff's starting to go, okay? I'm pretty sure, I'm fairly confident that my video card is dying. Um, when I try to edit videos, it goes, the, 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 it's like if you were watching something and it was like buffering every like split second, <laughs> but like you don't see the spinning wheel. It just, it's bad. And then, um... My hard drive's not big enough to have, like, all my stuff on it. And when I try to do stuff in Photoshop and print for sublimation, it'll be like, can't print, can't save, can't do this because your scratch disk is full. So I had to, like, move my video folder to online only. And it's about impossible to work proficiently out of the online only stuff. Anyways, and then my other laptop has an even smaller hard drive. And then they both don't have enough memory. Anyways, this laptop is, I would have gotten like a better processor if I could have. If you don't know computer speak, I'm so sorry. Um, but the like newer processors are like a thousand dollars more. So I got a good one. Um, I got, okay, if you do know computer speak, I got a 64 gig RAM. So that's like your memory, like how much stuff your computer can handle at one time. And a four terabyte hard drive. I am geeked. Like it's going to be so good for editing and all that stuff. Um, so I got an Asus ROG, which is Republic of Gamers Strix laptop. Um, it's what I have for my other laptop too. But... Um, this one's a 15 inch, which I was kind of sad because my other one is a, um, 17 inch. I just really like the 17 inch laptops, but I'm traveling a lot. So <laughs> I haven't been bringing my laptop with me because it's like impossible to travel with a 17 inch laptop. It's not impossible, but let's put it this way. If you're flying, it doesn't fit in like a personal item. You have to put it in like a carry on. And then, like, you know, anything you put in a carry-on, you have to, like, leave it up there until you take off. And then you have to, like, move people out of your way and get your bag, find your bag, and put it away before the plate. Yeah, it's it's not practical. Um, so, yes. Um, I also bought a 3D printer last summer on Prime Day in July. Um, I got it out of the box a couple months ago, and, like, all the parts were sitting on my computer desk. Finally put it together. I haven't tried it yet. But, uh, this piece right here, this is something that's, like, newer than my, um, okay, it comes off. But they give you 3D print files. So I'm gonna 3D print this in, like, hot pink. 
so excited. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, so, um, the, the ROG Strix, they have, like, the rainbow RGB keyboards, and then also, ooh, she pretty. Look how pretty. So, the keyboard is backlit. Let's see. Yes, there's the rainbow. So you can like make it like change and then these keys all laid up. And look at that. I'm so excited. It's pretty. And it's so much smaller than my other one. Yeah, so I'm gonna 3D print this wherever it went, this piece. And you can like edit it too, but I don't even know how to use the software for my 3D printer yet. Um, yeah, anyways, had to share. Um, so hopefully, I don't plan on going over the top editing anything anytime soon, but I can do some videos again because I don't know if you noticed, um, between the last two vlogs, there were no regular videos. Um, there were some lives, but I just, I can't, I couldn't even like edit the little breaks in between the clips where like I start or like the camera shakes or something. I just couldn't do it, but I can now, so. Yay! Um, I was able to get the new laptop because of some custom orders and stuff, but got it on payments. So I have to make a couple. So customs are still open. <laughs> okay, I have a couple of small makes. They're just tumblers from a live that I did before I went to North Carolina for the weekend, and then I have some mail. Just gonna touch on that, and then. I'll touch on the workshop when I feel more rested. I know I probably look like a hot mess. It is what it is. But um Sandra had ordered donut cats in a waterproof canvas for the workshop. So a couple people um got to make their math packs in it and then she gave me the rest because this is exclusive. You can only get something with it if you order a finished item for me or you take a class that I teach. Um, I have decided that they will probably be an option most of the time during classes, but yeah, cannot buy the fabric. Keeping it that way. Um, so the night before I left, I did a live. We just did some sublimation stuff. So here's my cute little donut cats glitter tumbler. Um, I stole this one for myself. It's the first sublimation tumbler that I made and then kept other than putting my name and logo on one for Meow Fest, but yeah. Um, I didn't show this one off uh, before, but so this is our Per Eyed Donut Cats tumbler with just the rainbow flag. Um, and then this one is like the full pride flag. Um, this one glows and it glows so cool. I gotta, um, I gotta get a picture because the whole background glows since the background color is really light. Um, this, I do what I want cat one. It glows and it glows pretty cool too. Um, the thing with the glow tumblers is any spot that's dark isn't going to glow. Anything that's white will absolutely glow and then really light colors will glow also. So it's fun. Um, this Totoro cat bus one is holographic, but I don't think I can get it to show with the lighting I have currently. Anyways, it's really cute. I kind of wanted to keep that. <laughs> but I didn't. Um, this one, I do what I want, is glittery. And then Evolutions. This one's just on regular. So those are the makes I have right now because I need to start making today again. <laughs> um, I got a giant roll. Like, gigantic, okay? <laughs> um, my fabric printer printed this for me. Um, I will not share that information though, I'm so sorry. Um, I got it from a friend and I have to keep it confidential. Uh, but anyways, this is 42 meters of this hex reject print um so in the next couple of vlogs i might not have a lot of makes because i'm gonna be working on a wholesale order for cat toys with that and 
Oh, yes. Okay. So, I got some mail from Warm Me Now. I placed a small hardware order. Like, not much. Um, the black nickel and rainbow rectangle rings had been out for a little bit. Um, and they finally were restocked, so I just got some random hardware. And then Lauren sent me some piping to try. So this, like, purpley blue, I can't remember what the actual color is supposed to be called. Um, this is the accessory weight vinyl that she sells. She had it made into piping. And then the, um... Ace Glitter Vinyl, um, this is the Disco Ball shade. She had it made into piping too. I am so excited for this. This is on her website. I don't know if the other one is. Um, but I can't wait to try that. And then I ordered something that's not sewing related to make a video about. And, uh, it'll be in the background of lives and stuff. Lizma's channel is sewing crafting and cats. Okay. I ordered a pink cat tree. I've wanted to get one for my office for a while and I was on Amazon and it was on sale. So I was like, you know what? I'll just make a video. So it's a business expense. <laughs> it really is. Okay. It's gonna, so when I'm live, pretty much you can see like back here behind me. So I'm thinking it's going to sit in front of the pink curtain and I'll just scoot the domestic alley down. So it'll be like my shelf, my cylinder arm, and then the cat tree. Probably. I have a lot of room down here, okay? I added the cylinder arm and I pushed the other machines down. And then, um, a table that was, like, down there between my computer desk and the machine desk, um, it, it doesn't fit now. But there's a perfect amount of space for a cat tree. It's fine. Okay. Probably have, like, one or two clips left before the end of this. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Today's my birthday. I'm so excited. Um, I'm almost done sewing a clear guardian. I sewed a clear clematis. I'll show them later. Um, I'm doing a live tonight. It's a birthday per RT. Um, I was left alone with Photoshop, so, uh, hopefully you got to see that cool picture. I photoshopped the cats together wearing party hats. Anyways, I got two boxes today, and I am too excited. Um, okay, so the first one is the April 15th release from Warm You Know. I got more of this pretty purple. Um, this is purple wisteria. So good. Um, I got some more, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> some more of, um, I can't get the film off of it. This, um, green hydrangea. And then, where's the other one? Okay, I didn't have this one yet, and I must not have seen it when I was at the Mormino headquarters, because I would have gotten it. Um, this is Pink Peony. It's so pretty. Um, I also got some cream stars on black one-inch webbing. Really excited to use these for totes. Um, I got a, several yards of, um, yards, several rolls of those vinyls. And then I also got the rainbow hole punch plier, nine inch punch plier. Um, so it's all pretty rainbow and then it has glittery rubber handles. Can't wait to use that. Really excited. Okay. And then I'll show you my other box. One second. My mom called me when I was recording the other one. So I felt bad. Called her back. Okay. I got a box that I've been waiting, I guess like only a month for. No, it shipped on a ship a month ago. Okay, so I ordered it a little bit longer than that. And it's finally here. Okay, so if you've heard me mention before, I'm going to 
hopefully start selling some jelly vinyl. So it's like the jelly matte vinyl. I've been using it a lot. Um, I figured maybe if I could sell it, uh, it would offset some of my costs um, so I can order in bulk, sell some, keep some. Uh, so I didn't get very many colors, but I got... I thought I got four colors. I did get four colors. Okay. I was going to completely open this box on camera, and then my boyfriend came down, and I was too excited to show him what was in here. Okay, so I got a hot pink. I am really excited. So a couple of these colors, I'm going to keep most of it for myself, but... Um, I'm gonna sell some. Okay. This pretty blue. I got a lavender color. I know you're shocked, right? Um, my friend Alex really wanted purple. And it matches something else, so I was like, all right. And then this pretty pink. So these are the four colors I got. I know it's not much, but listen. Bone on the budget. Broke. I can't really say. I'm broke witch. We'll say witch, you know. Um. <laughs> so anyways, I don't want to do any pre-orders. They don't take too long to come in, but just in case. So anyways, these are the four colors I have. Probably keeping most of the hot pink for myself. Um, the hot pink and the blue match something that I'm about to show you. Um, I'm not selling what I'm about to show. I might occasionally do a giveaway where donut cats can be a prize. But I got clear donut cat vinyl in. So I got the orange cats, and then I also got the pur-eyed donut cats. Oh, look at it! So they are a bit orange, but I think they're just true to the color. I'm just so used to sublimating them, and they don't come out as orange, but I am so excited. I love the scale. I think I told them a good size. So... The donut cats with like hot pink and with blue that matches the sprinkles. I'm so excited. I'm going to make so much stuff with this. So the plan is to do Meow Fest. I just got to get my booth fee covered. Um, <laughs> So I plan to take a lot of donut cats there. And then I also got... My per eyed donut cats. These are packaged so nicely. There went the box. It's okay, George. Look at this. How fun is that? So we got as many flags as we could without going too overboard. So I think there's a donut cat for everyone. Um, we even have just a regular rainbow. So This I can do any of these colors with. And yeah, so I'm planning on doing uh, my local pride this summer as well. And I'm really excited. So whenever I so sell stuff with the per eyed cats, um, I do donate. Uh, a little something to either the Trevor Project or I'm looking into some local um, groups also. So like for my local pride. Uh, but yeah, so excited. I've been waiting forever. Um, they're so cute. I can't wait to make everything with them. Anyways, so that's my meal today. My birthday meal. I'm gonna go um, get dinner with my boyfriend, kids, and my mom. And then I'll be back tonight for a live, which 
I'm Brittany from the past, so you can go back and watch live if you didn't. Thanks. <laughs> All right, this is the last portion of what I made for this vlog. So let me just grab from this table where I keep everything that I've made. You're not a mink. You're a Georgie. He's sitting there cleaning himself. Oh, now he's mad. All right, go up on your shelf, bud. All right, so... I'm actually recording this like right before I finish it and upload it. So today, right now, is actually April 22nd. Um, so last night there was a Hex Reject um, anime <laughs> drop. So I actually did this one in glow. It glows so cool. Um, but who remembers Hamtaro? He's <laughs> so cute. Okay, uh, so I made some tumblers for that. Um, I made... I don't think I shared this. I'm almost positive. Uh, this clear clematis with my Stitch Don't Kill My Vibe um, clear printed vinyl. Oh, look, we get a two for one. <laughs> uh, I recorded a uh, tutorial video for this. Um, my friend Leslie at Joe Lily Creations, she did this. Um, she did it in a live with uh, Kasaya from Sai Swag. Um, I don't, I did mine as a tutorial, but I'm going to be honest, I struggled a little on the, um, curved zipper, getting it to stay taped, but it, it was not hard. Um, and then with my other clear vinyl strike from Stitch Don't Come My Vibe Donut, I made this clear guardian. Um, so because it doesn't have a ton of structure, it is kind of like, but once you have stuff in it, it would be different, but... So I used the, this clear, oh, this is a Hex Reject print, um, and then this is the translucent vi uh, glitter vinyl from Warm You Know. It's so much fun, and uh, you can, like, see how hot pink it is from inside the back. My lighting just, it's not the greatest right here. I need to work on that. Like, there's tons of lights, but for some reason, who knows? Anyways, this is going to be a video tutorial as well recorded it I did a live on my birthday we had a birthday per RT I was left alone with Photoshop um, but I sewed this adorable Dina bag I still have to top stitch it like around here but it is a uh, Sprite fizzy glitter vinyl from where we know this is Imperium pink which is going to be my new signature cat nose. Every cat person I make from now on is going to have this nose. Except I was thinking about making a whole purse in the Imperium Pink. So I'd have to do a different nose. But, but that's okay. Um, so it has rainbow thread. And rainbow hardware. And it's lined in pink. And it is so cute. wanted to keep it. I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to sell it. Um, and then my other makes I finished for the anime drop from Hex Reject is this peekaboo beauty bag and this trail tote. It's so cute. I used um, the new star webbing from where we know and it's so perfect for this. It's so cute. Okay. Um, so that's all my makes. I have a Lind Sport cut out in this Sailor Moon with a pink background. Um, I just haven't finished it yet. I was going to stay up last night and finish it. And then I wound up on my computer and wasted time. It's fine. I'm closing customs this weekend. Tomorrow is the cutoff deadline. So if you were thinking about it and you wanted to order a custom, get it in. Anyways, uh, what's coming up for the next two weeks? In the next two weeks, I leave to go on the So Magical at Sea cruise. I'm mildly terrified. I've never been on a cruise. It's fine. It's going to be fun. I get to be with my friends. Um, so this next section will only be like a week and a half, um, but it'll upload. As long as I get everything done, it'll upload while I'm on the cruise. Uh, okay. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good weekend. Bye. Oh, George says bye too. Ha, <laughs> ha,